In this video, we're going to have a conversation with Opus in real time, two-way voice conversation. I have prepared some questions uh, from ChatGPT. We are using the local whisper. I mean, I started this program. Uh, the local whisper model, faster whisper model is loaded to my GPU. Let's just begin with this question. Do you believe that AI, specifically LLMs, can ever achieve a form of consciousness or sentience compared to human intelligence? What philosophical distinctions should we consider when addressing this possibility? Consciousness is still a mystery, even in biological entities. Key philosophical considerations are qualia, subjective experiences, self-awareness and intentionality. Current AI likely lacks these, operating more like philosophical zombies, intelligent behavior without inner experience. But we can't definitively rule out machine consciousness. As AI complexity grows, some argue digital minds could emerge. Integrated information theory even suggests that consciousness is substrate independent. So while today's AI is likely not conscious like humans, the future is open-ended. We may need to expand our definitions of mind and reassess old human-machine dichotomies. The hard problem of consciousness remains unresolved. Very nice. We are actually using 11 labs with WebSocket connection for real-time communication, real-time conversations. We can actually also interrupt any time when this AI is speaking by pressing space. But we haven't done that yet. Also, I have talked about this video in detail along with the code in my super fast two-way opus voice chat you can watch that if you want to dig deeper into the code and the code files for this project is available at my patreon link is in the description let's go ahead with the second question given the accelerating capabilities of ai and llms what ethical considerations should guide the creation and deployment of increasingly powerful models how do we balance innovation with potential societal harm As AI capabilities grow, so do risks. Potential issues include AI alignment, ensuring AI goals match human values, bias and fairness, privacy, transparency, and job displacement. Societal harm could come from malicious use, accidents, or unintended consequences. Ethically, we need proactive governance, balancing innovation with safety. This means thoughtful development, considering downstream impacts, adherence to ethical principles, security measures to prevent misuse, transparency for public trust, and policies to mitigate negative effects on jobs and inequality. Elaboration between ethicists, policymakers, and technologists is key. We must steer advanced AI to be a positive force while vigilantly defending against pitfalls. I believe the uh, WebSocket connection can get interrupted. This happens from the server end. I am actually working uh, to uh, refactor this code to use OpenAI TTS, which is much cheaper and will uh, actually fix this problem. I also want to talk about a slight uh, alteration I did to this code. When uh, within the chat loop, we actually transcribed our voice after recording, and then we append it to the message history as the user role, as the full transcript. But uh, at the end of every user message, I add a please only respond with 100 words or less to contain the AI responses to a shorter form. This is not available in the code download, but you can add it uh, very easily like this. Let's continue with the third question. This one. Can AI systems possessing advanced decision-making capabilities such as LLMs ever truly exhibit free will or are their actions inherently deterministic? What implications does this have for accountability and moral responsibility? Free will is a complex philosophical issue, even for biological intelligences. Determinism suggests all events, including human decisions, are inevitably caused by prior events. This challenges libertarian free will. AI systems, based on computing, seem even more deterministic, their outputs entirely caused by training data, algorithms, and inputs. However, with increasing complexity, AI decisions may become practically unpredictable resembling free choice. Accountability gets thorny. We hold humans morally responsible despite determinism as they possess qualities like reason and reflection. 
As AI advances, notions of machine accountability may expand. For now, designers bear primary responsibility. But as AI autonomy grows, our moral frameworks may need to evolve. The age old free will debate finds new urgency in an algorithmic era. I'm going to actually speak, ask a question that is, I'm just going to say thank you, just to show you that I can interrupt the uh, AI responses. Thank you very much so far for your responses. And I'm going to immediately interrupt by pressing space. See, I interrupted the audio playback. Even before the audio played, we went back to taking user input. Let's go ahead with the fourth question. I actually had the video paused with the fourth connection. I'm actually going to ask it to answer that question again, since it is, uh, we are keeping track of the uh, conversation history. Could you please answer that question again? Which was this fourth question, how to advance with an AI, traditional philosophical understanding of intelligence. How AI it prompts us to rethink intelligence beyond the biological paradigm. As machines showcase reasoning, learning, and problem solving, often surpassing humans in specific domains, the boundary between natural and artificial intelligence blurs. This challenges our human-centric conception of intelligence and suggests a broader, more inclusive definition. Intelligence may be best understood as a spectrum of information processing capabilities manifested in diverse substrates, biological or digital. Redefining intelligence in this way has implications for how we measure and value machine cognition. Rather than judging AI by its similarity to human intelligence, we should appreciate its unique strengths and potential for human-machine synergy. AI may expand our understanding of the nature and possibilities of intelligence itself. So the question was, how do advancements in AI and LLMs challenge our traditional philosophical understandings of intelligence? So I was, I actually had the video pause, so that's why I asked it to repeat this question. Like I said, the code files for this will be available at my Patreon. You can watch the detailed code review in this video at my YouTube channel, Superfast Two-Way Opus Voice Chat. You can also find all my 250 plus uh, coding videos about building AI powered apps at my website, echohive.live. Link will be in the description. While you're there, take a look at my other projects, such as AutoStreamer, which auto creates educational content in real time while actually creating a website which you can deploy, such as this is the one we have created in this live stream. You can watch it. Another one of my projects is Code Hive, where you can find 900 plus free GPT powered Python applications. The code is here available for free for each project. But if you do like what you see, you can download all of the apps for $100 at my Patreon. And I currently have an opening for AI Virtuoso number three for one on one meetings at my Patreon. Do check that out as well if you like to talk to me on a one on one basis. Let's go ahead with this fifth question human AI relationship. This one What feature do you envision for the relationship between humans and AI, particularly LLMs? How can we ensure a symbiotic coexistence that enhances human capabilities without diminishing our sense of autonomy and purpose? I envision a future of collaborative synergy between humans and AI. Language models and other AI systems will serve as powerful tools to augment and empower human capabilities. We'll see seamless human AI teamwork in areas like research, problem solving, creativity, and decision making. However, to ensure a symbiotic coexistence, we must prioritize human autonomy and agency. AI should be designed to enhance, not replace human judgment. Transparent. Explainable AI will be key to maintaining trust and accountability. We'll also need to proactively address the economic and social impacts of AI, such as job displacement, to ensure the benefits are widely shared. Education and skilling initiatives can help humans adapt to an AI-powered world. Ultimately, the goal... Yeah, we are again experiencing the WebSocket connection, but let's go ahead and ask this last question, the future of human evolution. 
How might the continuous development and integration of AI, especially LLMs, affect the outcome of human evolution? Should we view AI as a tool, a competitor, or a potential successor in the evolutionary narrative? The role of AI in the human evolutionary narrative is a profound question. On one level, AI is a tool, an extension of human intelligence that empowers us to solve problems and expand our capabilities. But as AI systems become more autonomous and sophisticated, they may also be seen as a form of evolutionary competition, challenging us to adapt and grow. In the long view, some speculate that AI could even be a potential successor to biological intelligence. If machines eventually surpass human-level cognition across all domains, they may become the dominant form of intelligence shaping the future. However, I believe the most promising outlook is one of collaboration I'm and going coalition. to go ahead and interrupt it again. By working symbiotically Just with to AI, demonstrate. We See, we can interrupt it anytime. Sometimes the interruption takes a few seconds to take effect, but I can then ask. Can you please summarize all this in a few short sentences? Our conversation has explored the profound implications of AI for our understanding of intelligence, consciousness, free will, and the future of humanity. As AI advances, it challenges our traditional anthropocentric views and prompts us to redefine fundamental concepts. The ethical development of AI is crucial to ensure a future of symbiotic collaboration rather than competition. Ultimately, AI may serve as a catalyst for the next phase of human evolution, leading to new forms of hybrid intelligence and expanded possibilities. By thoughtfully navigating this uncharted territory, we can shape a future where humans and machines work together to unlock unprecedented potential for growth and flourishing. Yeah, this is very nice. Works well, other than WebSockets getting interrupted every once in a while. Like I said, this really is helpful, 100 words or less, by appending to the end of every user message. We do also mention it to keep responses short in the system message such as to keep it under 50 words, but uh, when you have a long conversation, this kind of gets forgotten. Anyway, all in all, like I said, I will link to the video in the description, which reviews the code in detail. You can also find it at my website and my YouTube channel, Superface 2A Opus Voice Chat. And the code files for this project is available at Patreon. And when you become a patron, you, have, you get access to 200 plus projects. And if you're at my website, and if you like projects such as this dueling Autocoders, Opus versus GPT-4. You can just click on this download all code. It'll take you to Patreon where you can download the code, modify it and make it your own. You can also click the download code for the two-way super fast Opus chat. It'll take you to my Patreon as well. Uh, I do not have ads on my channel anymore. And so I really do appreciate your support on Patreon. Thank you very much. And let me know how you like this. I will uh, try to improve on this code and we'll have more videos like this. Maybe even a live stream. Do let me know. And thank you very much. See you in the next video.